سميع الله لمن حميده. I repeat, سميع ال. I repeat that again. سميع الله لمن حميده. Okay, so before we go into the details of the transliteration, so some of the takeaways from this, actually, let me just bring up the picture. Sorry. Okay, so this is something that you say when you are rising up from your bowing position. So remember, whenever you're transitioning position, usually we say Allahu Akbar. So this is when you're, bow you're rising up from your bowing position, you say this, which as you can see in the bottom of the screen here, it means that Allah has heard or Allah hears or listens to the one who praises him. So a couple of things that you can take away from this. One is the excellent reminder that, look, this is a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Allah is actually listening to you. Allah is hearing and responding to what you are saying. So it's a good reminder to collect our thoughts and not get distracted. Okay. Second thing is the importance of praise. When we praise Allah, it has a lot of spiritual uh, effect. You realize who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, your relationship, your uh, your um, your your love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases, uh, you magnify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you realize his greatness and so on and so forth. And it also has an impact on your conviction when you make dua to Allah. So when we say dua, it means you're asking Allah for something. Okay, and that could be something very simple as you know, success in a test or a deal or a car or, or a spouse or children, whatever it is, you know, happiness, uh, ideas, intelligence, strength, health, whatever it is, right? Or, you know, protection from hellfire, you know, uh, love of Allah, pleasure of Allah, you know, uh, safety from the punishment of the grave, punishment of hellfire, retiring in paradise forever, so on and so forth. So as we make dua to Allah and we praise Allah before the dua, during the dua, it actually helps us increase our conviction and remember who Allah is, what he's able to do, and so on and so forth. And at the same time, also increases uh, the impact, the effect of our dua. And that's the third point I want to remind that we, whenever we are talking to Allah, it has an impact. It is not something that's like, okay, whatever, right? It has an impact. It makes your life better, either directly by the way that what you're asking Allah for or in some indirect fashion, which is part of the details of other courses that you will see. We don't want to make it too long. But this is some of the key reminders that we want to take away uh, from this. Now, let's uh, understand the details of the pronunciation. So the first thing is semi, okay, semi. And then I have here is al. So remember the apostrophe that we talked about earlier. It's kind of the sound is coming off from the middle of the uh, throat. So it's not al. It's not al, it's al, al, okay? So just having some sort of distinguishing uh, distinguishing uh, characteristics of that uh, without going too much into, uh, too, worrying too much about it, okay? Sami al, and then I have a capital L for heaviness. So la hu, sami allahu. Now you may want, so obviously the double A is because there's a stretch, la, right? Otherwise it would be la. So sami allahu. And you can see I have capital H here. So sometimes you can see I have capital H and I have a, a lowercase h. So what's the distinction between these two? So the capital H, I don't think we have seen this so far in the series, is something that comes from, you know, the bottom part of the throat. So it's like, ha, ha, ha. So here it would be, who, who, the, the lowercase h that we have seen so far, that we saw earlier in... Um, Subhana. So that's something that you can think of as coming from the middle of the throat. Ha, ha, ha. So you can practice that a bit. And this is ha, ha. Okay. So slight difference. If you don't get it, don't worry too much about it at this stage. Okay. So what we have so far is Sami Allah Hu. Okay. Then we have Li. Now this one is, remember, this is Man. It's not Man. It's Man. Because uh, in the Arabic, M-A is ma, B-A is ba. So we don't have like, you know, how in English, uh, M-A could be ma in some situation like man, and it could be, um, you know, it could be different things depending on what's coming after, right? So here it's, it's simpler in Arabic, I hope. It's ma, B-A is ba, C-A is ka, D-A is da. Okay, so man, liman. Okay, sami Allahu liman. And then now we have ha, middle of the throat, hamida. 
Okay, so Sami'allahu liman hamida. Okay, so this is it for today. Uh, and I'll see you in the next episode. Assalamu alaikum.